Here we are, Fort Mifflin. Uh, it's 1777. This place took more artillery rounds than any other place in America during the Revolutionary War. Revolutionary War. Nice way to say that. But uh, so, uh, look like a oh, they're shooting guns. That guy just shot at that family of four. Oh, it's horrific. The war never ends. But so here we go. I'm gonna take you a little, a little tour, a little look see loo of what's going on at Fort Mifflin. This here, uh, this used to be, you know what? I'll do. Oh my God! That was a. Is that a bat? Is that a bird? Oh, we're all dead. We're all dead. We're all dead. Oh, he's gonna kill us. Uh, I guess this doesn't really matter. Uh, so this here was the. Uh, uh, this was like the mess hall. This is the cafeteria. They have the ovens back there. It's where they used to break big bread. Not much light. There was electricity, uh, but they would have little candles all around. There's a little hole right there. So this used to be a thing. And then you walk over here, and they got. You ever see the Wayne's World? I always makes me think of Wayne's World when Wayne and Garf just lay under the uh, lay under on her car under the airport with the planes landing. I used to do that with my uh, with Pooh Bear when she was a baby. We stick her to the airport, watch the plane lands. There it is. Uh, so everything from here. All right. So Britain, British, the the, uh, the England built this place in like 1770 something, and then uh, in 1774 they stopped building it. So then, uh, American, you know, we're at war with these guys. So we took over, right? We took over, and we, we finished the plans. Now, after the, the embarment of 1777, uh, we, George Washington, like we held, they say this is the fort that helped save America because they held off the British troops for a few days. That Washington and his army, they fled the Valley Forge, and... Uh, I think it was 250 American soldiers held off the British Army for a few days. Uh, so that's that's the cool, that, that was the story at the time. Oh, it's gonna be so windy. I hate windy videos. This here is uh, this is the quarters of where the soldiers slept. So let's go take a look. This here is like the uh, uh, well, I don't know what that was. It probably this was like the doctor's office. All right, look at that wheelchair. Wheelchair and crutches. All right. You see the, the bed has rope, no box springs back in the day. Gonna go in here. They got all kinds of fun activities and it's air conditioning. All right. There he is himself. My main man, Ben Franklin, doing his experiment. There's an outline in that. You can use how to use that thing. They got ghosters. Ah, very crowded. And this is the bunk room, right? This day they said two soldiers would sleep on the top bunk and two soldiers would sleep on the bottom. Oh, you could definitely get two guys in there. Oh, sure. And they got all. Yeah. Places that keep the old timey locks and they ain't got no directions on how to do them. But uh, so, and then so the soldiers slept there, two men to a bunk. But if you were an officer, you were married, you lived in there, the lap of luxury. Look at the furniture of these people. Back in 1777, these people they had plastic patio furniture from Walmart. Isn't that great? Um, and if you were married, you could live there with your wife and kids. Uh, you couldn't be a soldier and live in there. Uh, you couldn't be married. You couldn't be married and be a soldier, right? I don't know. So uh, they have this wall built all around. In, 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 uh, right after the Battle of 1777, George Washington said, burn this place. As Seth Rollins says, burn it down. Uh, they burned it down, destroyed the place, and they rebuilt the place. 
uh, in the 1790s. Most of what you see is from the 1790s. This wall is definitely. So we're gonna take a little walk around here. Oh, you know what? We're gonna get a killer shot. If I can hurry up, because planes go 100 miles an hour, and my chubby ass only goes two. Let's see if we can get it. Nah, it's too far over. also a natural wildlife preserve uh, over 50 species of birds turtles deer foxes and there's, there's a there's geese poo everywhere everywhere you go and some lady some lady was like oh they gotta clean up after their dogs it's a lady in her geese poop don't you know you ever see geese poop now nah, you see that lady walking around with her lady it's one dog it's a shih tzu it, it can't shit that much. So there's the soldier quarters. Now I think there's someone that actually lives here that 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 like is like the groundskeeper and he gets to live in one of those buildings. I don't know. There's a lot of ghost tours and all that junk. And I don't know if I would like to live in a haunted house. But there's a possibility that uh, you, you could spend a night here. They do overnight ghost tours. I'm like a it's just it's so loud right and they said the airplanes are destroying some of the buildings with with, with uh, look at this it's 1777 that's how they mowed the lawn with the riding mower and this hill here this is where they had the gunpowder ammunition uh, and they don't want kids to climb up there and run up there so they fill it <laughs> that's all poison ivy and poison oak Mrs. Captain said, you know, it'd be nice if they had a sign up there to let people know. And I said, nah, nah your kid's going to be, you know, be a jerk off and run up the hill. You know, poison ivy. And this here is where they used to make the gunpowder. Now, uh, what they said is everything in here, it, it's built below. Uh-oh. Got to keep the sunglasses on. That's the rule. Oh, it's pitch black. Oh, got the flashlight. All right. There you go. So you see the floor is wet because we're below sea level. That is a 50 pound barrel of uh, gunpowder. And that's a 300 pound. And the men would come in here, it would be so wet and muddy, they would uh, take their boots off and trot in here and make ammunition. And see that candle there? That's all the light they had. And there's one other light there, a one hole in the bricks like this. Ventilation. All right. See, there's half a candle. It's all they get. Uh oh. There they are, Commodores. That's where Lionel Richie lived in the 70s when he was a member of the Commodores. Uh, but here's the blacksmith shop. Now, this is the oldest building in Fort Mifflin. Uh, Said the British built it. The British built it, and he said, uh, the guy who took me on the tour, he said uh, the uh, bodies of the soldiers uh, from the, 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 the mass bombardment are buried. We're buried under there. But when we redid the joint in seven, 1976, we dug up their bodies. No, I should have asked them. So here's the, oh excuse me, here's the blacksmith shop, right? There's the toolbox. Oh. There's the toolbox they used in 1777. Right, yeah, yeah, yeah. Plunge it. You know what? Hey, stupid. Are you supposed to be doing that? No, I'm not. Let's put that back. It's from the 1800s, dummy. Okay. All right. And then we're gonna go up here. But tunnels everywhere. Uh, you know what? I think I'm going to come back here uh, when it's not so crowded so I can take a tour. Because you ever take a tour with somebody? I, well, when I was trying to be a tour guide, I saw this. There's always that one guy who knows everything and he has to ask an extra inside question. The tour I was on had one of those guys. I hate those people. But that right there, right back there is where the, the British troops, I guess there was like a canal or something, he said they would start bombing and 
or maybe not. Maybe they bombed him over there. Who knows? I wasn't paying attention. I was just more annoyed with the guy asking all the goddamn questions. Oh no! Oh! This used to be a military base up until like 1954. So in World War II, we used this for artillery shot. Like artillery was made here or something. Yeah, I, I could I could have stuck around for the tour, but the guy wouldn't shut up with the goddamn questions. Uh, let's say here we go. Let's get the flashlight on because this is dark. Here we go. Okay, where we at? Oh no. You know what? Look, it's a dark tunnel. It's 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 old white bricks. Look, that's it. It's Fort Mifflin. Uh, I'm gonna come back and do a better thing here when uh, there's more stuff going on. And uh, you know, let's end it with this this shot here. And that's it, Fort Mifflin. And I'll sail with you later. Doodles. <laughs>